STEM. It's the acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. The disciplines that are vital for a striving economy and a safe and technologically advanced society. Right from kindergarten till 12th grade, most of STEM teaching and learning centres around science and mathematics. Comparably, little attention has been given to integrated technology and applying engineering techniques to have a greater understanding of the science and math concepts. For many years, the four subjects have been taught in isolation. But the new reform method, like the Next Generation Science Standards, is placing more emphasis on the connections between and among the STEM disciplines. To understand how this trend might affect teaching and learning in the future, we need to take a closer look at integrated STEM education, not just the individual subjects that make up the acronym. Affecting all in the real world, science relies on technology, mathematics and engineering. And engineering depends on findings from science, the application of mathematics and the use of technology. Imagine if kindergarten to 12th grade students were inspired and provided fun, hands-on and engaging experiences to tackle these subjects. That too, in integration with real life problems, will they learn more and more deeply? Might they see STEM disciplines as more relevant to their lives? Could it lead to more of them pursuing STEM courses and careers? The answers to these questions depends partly on how integrated STEM education is implemented in schools and in outer school settings. Research suggests that implementation has to balance learning in the individual STEM subjects with more connected ways of learning. In addition, because it can be hard for students to make these connections themselves, teachers should transform to facilitators and need to make the connections explicit. Inside the classroom, some teachers may use instructional approaches like problem-based learning or engineering design steps to teach problem solving and to introduce integrated STEM education to their students. Outside the classroom, students have been exposed to STEM connections in museums and science centres through after-school experiences like engaging in STEM-focused robotic competitions or through simple tinkering. However, we need more research to better understand the potential benefits and limitations of integrated STEM education for students, teachers and schools. What, for example, are the implications of integrated STEM education for high schools? How can teachers be better prepared to teach in such proposed integrated methods? And how can we assess kids to determine what they learn and what is the level of attainment as a result of integrated STEM experiences. The list of questions is long, but answering them is important for our students, teachers and the nation. For more information about integrated STEM education, check out www.stembestpractice.com.